Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to do a video on this architecture diagram and show it better. Okay, so what I wanted to do today was basically show how to do this kind of diagram that I found in A2PF Architects website that I thought it was really, really cool. So uh, basically, I am going to like narrate this because I already did it. But it was it, it took too long like 30 minutes so it didn't I mean I didn't want to make a whole video about it but what I did was uh, model in SketchUp uh, like a very basic model you know just uh, what a public space would look like with the stairs and the places for the grass the concrete you know something like that and then I put it in parallel projection just like in the image and well put the place for the trees and everything and exported it as a PNG in only lines so the rest we will do in Photoshop once we are in Photoshop um, the basic thing we have to do is import textures the grass texture the um, the concrete texture the wood texture the people and uh, apply shadows that's basically it so that's I just uh, looked up for texture in uh, Google and uh, put it in everywhere I, I, I thought the grass was you know was gonna look cool I merged all the grass textures and uh, selected all the the places where the grass was going to be and then uh, put the grass in a mask so if I did, if I had to erase or like uh, bring back some of the grass I wouldn't have so many trouble with doing it um, so yeah I just put it in a I merged it all and then put it in a mask and then um, I started uh, painting with a, with a little brush, uh, um, just like what I wanted my grass to be like, just to have a little bit more of a, a realism to the image. I, I did it with a really simple brush, not with, it with a grass brush because I couldn't find it, but uh, it was a re really simple brush with, uh, with, with which I just painted the grass. And yeah, that was basically it. You guys have to remember that. It's it's always better to do it this with a with a mask, you know, to if you're gonna hide something, because you always have the option to, you know, to bring it back in case, you know, that that wasn't your best decision. So yeah, I just painted the grass back in. It was it was very quick. It wasn't that that long. Painted the grass back in and started to look for the concrete texture. All these textures are basically online. There's not much trouble with it. So I, uh, you just type concrete texture in Google and find dozens of them. I found one that was really cool because it had like a, you know, this, uh, this appearance of, of being a, a very public floor. So I downloaded it and uh, put it where I, uh, where I thought it was going to be cool. It's basically the same process. So you just import an image and um, when you import it, uh, you just you already you, you put it where you think it's gonna be it's gonna be used you put it where you think it's gonna be used um, and then you just uh, place a mask over it so then the okay with the wood was the same thing you just placed it Control T and then just uh, place it then do the same with the mask and then import a tree import a tree uh, I just selected any tree and imported it uh, I copied it various times I also uh, You know put the canvas a little bit bigger because it didn't fit and Then I looked for the people you can search for like birds eye view people and just import them it wasn't it wasn't very complicated honestly and uh, yeah I think maybe next time I'll do a more explainative tutorial it's just that this took so long I didn't want to upload a video of 30 minutes um, but yeah then after that I just applied shadows with a brush with a soft brush on 10% opacity on you know but for the people for the for the grass for the for the trees and that was basically it I changed the color a little bit with color balance and applied uh, 
like the texture to, to, to the background. That was just pretty like contrast thingies. It's not very complicated, honestly. I wanted it to have like a different look. It, it wasn't like exactly like the image. It was just a little bit more contrasty look. And then I applied a, a background with a, like a paper texture background. Then I added uh, the text. You know, I just want to do the, the whole diagram. Like what, what text would it have? You guys, I imagine you guys would have like more specific stuff. I just put like concrete and then uh, trees and... Uh... Oh, I also put some bird brushes. And, um, and the wood texture. And that was basically it. I just, you know, drew some lines over there. So it would be ready to, <clears throat> you know, put it wherever you wanted to put it and uh, darken everything a little bit and that was basically it okay if you guys want to check out more of my videos uh, please hit the subscribe button uh, share it uh, like it uh, comment you know if you have any questions i will be uploading uh, i want to be uploading every week uh, let's see and uh, i want to do more of these things uh, related to architecture film uh, design etc etc see you guys later thank you